Okay. I, although it took me 3,000 miles just to meet my friend, Sir Ben Sanchez, across the ocean. And now in the baggage claim to claim whatever baggage I have that I'm ready for the schedule prepared by my friend, Sir Ben, until December 3. How nice to be here again. The last time I was here was in 2009. It was an eight visit Honolulu after three years. Well, it is still the same highlands, but more fascinating this time. The next time you see Hawaii, it's infinitely more. Okay, it has happened before. I have been to so many airports in this particular trip. I was in Pittsburgh, I was in O'Hare, LA International Airport. Okay, now I have to wait. Then we have Hawaiian Airlines saying, more jealousy, that they cannot open the doors to the languages. Have you heard anything more silly or unusual? I should have taken the Delta connection and a bit of it away. Because there is an alliance between American Airlines and Hawaii. So, if American Airlines cannot do it, it is Hawaiian that takes it. If, it. if we start with Delta, that will be a bigger charge, according to my agent, budget budget. And you know, financially, I'm not well off. That I'm super tipid, thanks to my friend, Sir Ben Sanchez, who's taking care of my stay in Honolulu. Otherwise, I would have stayed in Waikiki in a magnificent overlook of the bay, overlooking all those roads. But times are very difficult now. So, I'm still waiting for my bus. But you know, we have to emphasize the positive. While waiting for the bus, I have to say, we have to emphasize the positive. Launch on into the affirmative. Thank you. Out of this negative thoughts, we have to be positive in everything we do. The nights of Rizal, the nights of Pindias, that is their last word. Positive, constructive, creative thinking. And I believe in that. And that is why we would like to organize a branch of the Knights of Pindias in Manila that is one of my main reasons for traveling to Honolulu except for this part this is giving me temporary problems but this can be addressed this can be addressed I want to greet Deputy Supreme Chancellor uh, Cletus Chi the next I have the past Deputy Supreme Chancellor, Walter Lewis, the one we were together in the elevator 2008, three years ago, <laughs> when I visited the building. How can I forget? Walter, or Sir Walter Lewis. I want to greet the past District Deputy Supreme Chancellor, Knight Willis Ward. I wanted to know if he happens to own the world theaters, because I see a number of films there, beautiful cinema houses. And to all the past chancellors, the officers, our brother knights, I cannot overemphasize to you how genuinely honored and very proud I am that you are giving me this audience. First, I have to apologize because 2008, uh, just when I was starting the infrastructure, I had to go to Makati Medical Center uh, for some <coughs> important medical attention, something about my heart. I'm okay. In fact, my doctor said, the last time I saw him before I flew, 
to Ohio this time. I <laughs> lectured at the University of Stupidville in Ohio. He said, Professor Rappos, you have the heart of a lion, he said. If that is true, why do I have to take maintenance pills every day, <laughs> which is my called the old one, which makes me diuretic. Once I take it, I have to go uh, to the buffalo almost <laughs> immediately. Well, my first encounter with your organization is through books, and of course, at your website, and of course, my fascination with things that are grandites. I am myself a, a, a night grand chancellor, a night grand uh, cross of Rizal, which is the highest rank within the gift of the Knights of Rizal. I was made Sir Knight by no less than the Chief Justice of the Philippine Supreme Court, Justice T. Hanke. And so when I met my dear friend, uh, Brother Ben, who is my brother Knight in the Knights of Rizal, he introduced me to the Knights of Pythias. And that name fascinated me because I'm a student of mythology and Greek stories. And of course, Pythias is a remembered name. And I, I examined the purposes of your or, of the lodge. I compared it with the Knights of Rizal. They were almost running in parallel direction. Your commitment to moral uh, principles, uh, even the religious one, <clears throat> uh, the fundamental belief in a supreme deity, I am a Catholic, he may be a Protestant. In the Philippines, you can be Ecclesiastical Christo, Matawad Nanglahi, or even the one I'm addressing at the Cathedral on Thanksgiving Day, the Philippine Independent Church. They are not Catholics. But the point is, we all believe in one supreme deity. And your emphasis on <laughs> intelligence, mental qualities, and of course, the physical attribute, the Greek ideal of men sana in corpore sano, a sound mind in a sound body. This fascinated me, but I became more fascinated when I read into your history how this it was suggested to Abraham Lincoln. I got it from your website, and Abraham Lincoln suggested you better introduce it to the U.S. Congress as the one unifying factor in this civil war. And you got the first charter uh, organization under the U.S. Congress. Of course, George Washington, first in war, first in peace, was also a free mason. And history tells us he belonged to the lodge at Fredericksburg in Virginia. Your commitment to charity, to benevolence, to friendship, but especially charity, which is the greatest virtue of all. Even the Bible speaks of faith, hope, and charity. Charity as a kind of cementing block that unites all of us, whatever the races, whatever the ethnic qualities are. But the depth of meaning is, of course, love, charity, love, affection of the heart, emotions of the heart. These standards of Freemasonry, chastity, which of course includes purity in sex relations, fortitude, a most valuable virtue, <coughs> humility, the freedom from pride, the freedom from arrogance. What does the Bible say? He who is first shall be placed last, who is last will be placed first. 
important virtue as a habit of the mind, as a habit of the soul, humility. Now, I, I proud to tell you my own organization, the Knights of Rizal, or Los Caballeros de Rizal, was really patterned on the Masonic model. This was organized and we follow your ritual, which is we wander in a dark room uh, with our eyes closed and then the light is broadcast. We are illumined by the light of truth. This is typically Masonic, but it is also the characteristic of the lights of Rizal. And that is why I told my friend, uh, brother uh, uh, Ben, it would be an honor to establish the Philippine Lodge as the first ever lodge in the Philippines and probably in the whole of Southeast Asia. I am not sure, I am guessing wildly, but it is the first time in the Philippines. We are honored to do that, not because we want to copy, but we honor your rich history. And we want to be, to, to be touched by the shadow of that history, a rich, glorious history, a brilliant history. I hope the Philippine League, that is to say, the Philippine Lodge, I dislike the name Filipiniana, Filipinas, because sometimes they say Filipiniana, we might be mistaken for a dancing group, the Filipiniana dance choral. So I want to embrace on the name Philippines, the Philippine Lodge. There will be other lodges, I know. But what have we done so far? Well, let me tell you that uh, I have already uh, some officers in mind. We will be discussing this. Uh, uh, the officers I have uh, collected. We have the, uh, for example, for Chancellor, forgive my humility, but I shall be the first Chancellor. <laughs> Let me call that the beginner's privilege. <laughs> it is the beginner's privilege. I have earned that chevron. But I will be replaced soon enough. I will not stay forever like Ferdinand Marcos. <laughs> we used to have a President Marcos succeeded by this and that. With Marcos, 20 long years, we had nothing but Marcos, Marcos. And they shout Marcos forever. But you know, nothing is forever. Especially the radical rule can never be forever. That is our brilliant principle, is it not? Our commitment to liberty, our commitment to freedom of conscience, the liberty of thought, the freedom to disagree, which makes the USA such a great Country. state. You see people disagree. There are those who disagree. There are those who agree. Uh, but that is the United States of America. I just came from New York with an Occupy Wall Street. And then I was also in California with the Occupy Movement. It's everywhere and anywhere. But that is the beauty of democracy. And the solution to that is not less freedom. The solution to that is more freedom. In libertad, libertad is in greater freedom. That attracts us to the Knights of Bethia. I had in mind for Vice Chancellor, or, 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 or Vice Chancellor is my friend, Chavis, uh, Chavis sings of Jeremiah's. He happens to be a prominent Filipino, a prelate, this will be finalized soon, will be the Vice President, uh, Samuel Salvador, for academic affairs. The Master at War will be Dr. Malaborbor of Research Development in the University. 
a finance secretary will be a prominent writer, Vivencio Jose, and then uh, a, tra a finance secretary, as well as uh, uh, a treasurer. This will be an engineer, Victor Buhai, uh, a master uh, at arms, uh, will be someone like my friend, Gabi Lopez, of the Lopez family, and then an inner guard, uh, inner guard, Professor Sebastian, a prominent historian, and an outer guard, outer, uh, which is Professor Pasqua. But this is a uh, subject to discussion. But I have gotten their names, and they will agree. Uh, but this will be finalized, of course, with the approval of the Supreme Headquarters in the U.S., I mean, in the Venezuela. Now, uh, I promised a short speech. I want to say that uh, a charity, friendship, charity, and benevolence, these are magic words for me. I am in the United States to build bridges of friendship and cordiality. On November 30, I'm the speaker at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. On June 2, at the Philippine Center Studies University in Manau Manoa, and other places. I just addressed one in the University of San Francisco in San Francisco, in LA, the UCLA, and uh, the University of Northridge. California State University, Northridge, where I frequently lecture. I just came from uh, Steubenville. It was winter there when it was brilliant sunshine in LA and even in Honolulu, but it was freezing winter. I was there October 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. And believe me, there were snows. That's why they were all envious of me when I told them I am flying to Los Angeles now. We envy you the famous L.A. weather. Now, uh, your history has inspired us, but especially friendship, charity, benevolence. The very qualities we need in today's world. I am happy I was invited to be in an affair of the Knights of Pythias, of the homeless. Now, when I say charity friendship, it is not condescending, it is not stooping down. It is really an expression of love, especially if that poverty is the result of some economic phenomena beyond the control of anyone. And we know the economic phenomenon in the US, in Europe, even in the Asia Pacific, is even in the Philippines. Now, and benevolence, I love that word, benevolence, charity, <laughs> friendship. They are the very best words of the Knights of Rizal. We call it in Rizalian chivalry. And we have a motto there that everyone dies with me, uh, quoting the famous lines of Dr. Jose Rizal, who was himself a Mason. He was a third degree Mason in Paris and a third degree Mason in Madrid. So was Emilio Aguinaldo, who organized the revolutionary government in the Philippines in 1898. So was Apolinario Mabini, the brains of the revolution. So was Emilio Jacinto. So was the famous writer, uh, 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 Don Trinidad, uh, Pardo de Tavera. The makers of political independence were Masonic. You will ask me why. Because when they were in Spain, it was only in Spain they could practice freedom, not in the Philippines. And they had to become members of the Masonic organization because that was the only organization they can be members of. The constitution in Spain then was the liberal constitution of Cadiz. Then that constitution uh, disappeared. So, in the Philippines, we are broad-minded. You could be a Mason and you can be a Catholic. Yes, 
I am a Catholic. I, well, I am a Knight of Rizal, and Rizal opposed the Catholic Church. Uh, but, I, but this is the age of reason. It is a reason that prevails. I am inspired by the fact uh, that uh, our history, uh, especially uh, the history of Rizal, his concept of liberty, hand in hand with his concept of education. I am an educator, and I want the Knights of Pythia's Philippine Lodge also to include in its purpose under charity and friendship and benevolence to elevate my country to the highest seat of educational glory. Because to me and to most of you and to all of you, education is the foundation of society. And of course, the prerequisite of social progress. I see now how reforms in education are taking place in the United States. I believe in that. I will also make it a part of that. Now, my plan or our plan is we will call it Philippine Lodge, then with the permission of the headquarters in the mainland, the Supreme Chancellor headquarters, we will also have a vision. I believe in having a kind of vision, even as you have a vision. And this is, uh, I hope to produce, I, we hope to produce a network of leaders. They start with the Knights of Petias, Philippine Lodge with their talents to showcase the ideas of the Knights of Pythias, of benevolence, of charity, and so on. I also believe part of our vision will be an organization, the Lodge, which would nurture patriotism, an unconditional love of country, promoting enlightened internationalism, not the narrow nationalism, but a broad embracing humanity internationalism, anchored in helping build the Philippine nation. The USA is already post-industrial. The Philippines, they say, is in the takeoff. I disagree. I don't believe we are already on the takeoff stage. When, they, when you consider a population of 95 million and the majority living in poverty of uh, less than a dollar a day, and one dollar is 43 pesos, the equivalent. We want it that way, and to shape a consciousness, and also a Philippine Lodge that responds to the times and what would be the times in the Philippines, the times of poverty, of underdevelopment, of unemployment, of illiteracy, of the lack of hospitals, of medical aid beyond the ability of a typical Filipino. These are the challenges in the Philippines and the Philippine Lodge, of course, in our bylaws, or rules subject to the approval of the Supreme Headquarters in the mainland will see to it that we address those problems squarely and that we do not just pass the bar. You know, I was thinking uh, of an organizational structure, the bare outline I have given it to you, but you know, I propose as the very first important meeting will be a general assembly so that uh, we will know all of them. Uh, we will have a venue probably in Manila or in Vica, depending on financial abilities. And then of course we will elect, but I know who will win. And then of course we look forward to that day when we will invite all of you, some of you, to visit the Philippines. The Philippines, not Hawaii, is the true paradise. 
That is the nuestro perdido Eden of Jose Rizal. The lost Eden. Well, I may call Hawaii the recaptured paradise. I may call the USA the recaptured paradise. But let me call my country the lost paradise. And the recaptured paradise will be the glorious state of Hawaii. I also propose one of our first functions will be, of course, an official website. We are now all interconnected. We are interwired. I, I got the calling cards of some of you. I will be honored if some of you will do me uh, the favor, I beseech you, of giving me uh, your uh, calling card so that the email can be uh, 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 reactivated in, the, in, the, in just a minute or less, faster uh, than light, I hope, certainly faster than sound, the message is there. That is how I communicate to Brother uh, Ben. If only Ben will read his email. <laughs> <laughs> that is how I communicate with him, uh, email. But he says, I don't read my email until 8 in the evening. Uh, probably he has his time. But that is how we are now living in the age of instant communication. In this technotronic age, it is a cybernetical age. Can you believe my life? I was in Manila just some days. Then in, in 13 hours, I was in LA. In less than five hours, I was in uh, in, 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 in Ohio, in less than that time, I was in New York, back to LA. I have collected enough miles in American Airlines, but they are not enough miles to exempt me from the excess baggage. I still have to pay beyond 23 kilograms in spite of my membership in the American Airlines. Now, I was thinking of that, an official website. Of course you say, you are dreaming, Professor Rafos. But may I tell you, the greatest ventures started in a dream. And they pursued the dream with unrelenting energy and force. They captured their dream. And the dream ceased to be a fantasy. It became a reality. Through hard work, of course, and perspiration. Was it not Edison who said it is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration? That is how we get things done. What can I say except how privileged it is to be with you? I am honored you are here, you honor me, even as I am glad to tell you, it will be the first Philippine Lodge. I, I teach in a university that just celebrated its 400th year. The University of Santo Tomas this year is 400 years old, and that is why I will address the Tomasians in Hawaii. They want to know more of our 400 years. And those four, I don't mind to tell you this, it will reveal my age. Father Rector said, you have been an active teacher. I received four awards consecutively. The London USD, Pride of USD. Let me advertise myself. It's all in Wikipedia. It's all in Google. All you have to do is to Google. And there I am. Uh, what I have achieved. He said, you have taught 37 years in USD. And then I told the father, that is 9.25% of the total 400 years of USD. So I am long lasting. I am from everlasting to everlasting. I am long enduring. No, I will not outlast the Knights of Pythias. Yes, we will organize it in the Philippines, remembering your principles. I am so eager to do it. Of course, I've already started it, except I am now in the U.S. for a series of lectures. 
Now, let me now conclude. I heard a ghost whispering something to me. <laughs> let me now conclude. I come from a country that is poor. My dream is to make it less poor, less uh, with more hospitals. I think the Filipinos deserve a better fate, a destiny realized in happiness and in freedom. And we will achieve that if we will attain deep in our hearts, professing that such a noble endeavor is our sole concern. And don't stop end. The Knights of Pythias Philippine Lodge will give us the wings to do it with your cries of benevolence, of charity, of friendship.